Hi guys and welcome back. Today me and my model cat are showing you how to create this gorgeous 90s inspired makeup look. And before we jump into the tutorial, I wanted to share a little announcement with you. Since the beginning of my channel, I was producing one YouTube video a week, but I feel like I have been chasing my tail all last year and running out of time and had no time for anything but YouTube and my work. So in order to keep those videos fresh and inspiring, I decided to give myself a little bit more time in between each video and from now on, I will be releasing videos twice a month and we start with the beginning of each month, skipping a week in between. I'm pretty sure this will affect the algorithm and how much the YouTube pushes my videos out to the wider public, but hey, it needs to be done for my own sanity and for the sake of this channel to keep it fresh and inspiring. So what I want you to do if you are enjoying watching my videos, go hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever the new video comes out and if you still have not subscribed to my channel please do so now and also leave the comment underneath every video that I release. All of this will tell the YouTube that the videos are worth a while watching and the content is worth a while being pushed up to the wider public. All right guys enough of the announcements. I have talked all through the preparation process but do not worry as usual all of the products that I have used in this video video are added in the description box below so you are not missing anything. So after I finished prepping the skin I am moving on to the foundation and today I'm using a new foundation for myself. This one is from It Cosmetics and I'm mixing CC Nude Glow and Your Skin But Better which is a little bit thicker in coverage. Both foundations are color correcting so a very high in pigment so they both overlay the skin really beautifully leaving a nice radiant finish. Finish. As I wanted the skin to look super natural, I have applied a very fine layer using fluffy brush which sheared it down even more. Cat's skin is fantastic and we do not require full coverage. The only area of concern is the under eye area which is a slightly darker in color. So for this reason I chose my new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer which is super pigmented and overlays everything in one go. And once I applied concealer with the brush, I then use Wet Beauty Blender to push it into the skin. This will remove any unnecessary excess of the concealer under the eye to make sure that it does increase later on. For the contouring, I am using Kiko Contouring Stick, which you guys know is one of my favorite and it's fantastic for any fair skin tones. This one is in the number 200. Contouring wasn't quite as big in 90s as it is now, but a slight definition in the face is always necessary. I don't think we contoured nose at all back in the day, but as this look is only inspired by 90s, I am going over and giving a nose a slight shading. Uh, I need to make sure that it's all blended really well and is not super defined like it is popular now. For the blusher I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk and I am applying it all over the highest points of the cheeks but I'm also going to blend it over the contouring that we did. As in 90s as I mentioned before we didn't quite contour much however the blusher was used generously. And the way I like to apply the blush is uh, placing it with one brush and then going over with another one to blend it into the skin. Sometimes I use a wet beauty blender to do that instead but today I chose my brushes. By the way guys for your convenience I am also adding all of the brushes that were used in this tutorial in the description box below so if you are interested also check it out. In 90s the eyeshadows were quite muted usually browns, grays, blues and purples so today I'm choosing this muted purple shade from Armani and I'm applying it all over the eye actually up to the brow bone. Working in a very fine layer. These cream eyeshadows are fantastic and I use them a lot in my editorial and private clientele's work. The only thing is that all of the creamy products need to be applied in a very fine layer and also need to be set with the powders on top in order not to crease. So for this reason I am going over and adding another layer of the eyeshadow which is very similar in color and this one is 
a muted purple eyeshadow from Dior and I will be using the full uh, palette. This one is 2-2. All of these uh, purple shades will be perfect for today's look. So here I'm choosing the stronger shade from the same palette and concentrating it in the lash line as if I was applying the liner. But I want this line to be very soft in its blending. As in 90s, a strong liner wasn't quite a thing. Usually in 90s, the eye makeup looks were all super blended and super smoky. Taking the same aubergine color, I am going to add a slight darkness in the inner corner of the eye. This is not a typical uh, makeup application for everyday look, but in editorial work, we are using this technique quite often. Silver eyeshadows were also a huge hit in 90s, so in today's look, to pop the middle part of the eye, I decided to use the Cryolans Shimmering Vision palette and the silver cream color from this palette, and I'm lightly applying it with the fluffy brush all over the middle part of the eye. Now guys, if you're trying this look on yourself and planning to wear it out, you will need to set cream eyeshadow with another powdery eyeshadow shadow on top. Otherwise, throughout the day, with the warmth of your body, the cream eyeshadow will warm up and it will start moving around. Kat's eyebrows are fantastic. They're so bushy and so full. Not quite what 90s required. Back in the day, super thin thread-like eyebrows were in trend. But again, as I am only taking a slight inspiration for this look, I'm going to embrace natural fullness of the brow and I'm only lifted them up using the got to be brow gel as for the lip i chose the fenty beauty lip paint in the shade deep burgundy which will complement purple eyeshadow. 90s trend lip colors were within browns, deep reds, muted reds, and also metallic shades. Both glossy and matte lips were a go, but today I wanted to create a cherry glossy lip. So my idea was to overload the lips with the transparent lip gloss. This one is also from Fenty, with only slight downside to my plan that I've loaded so much gloss onto the lips that by the end of the posing part of this video, the lip started to bleed. And actually, when it came to the pictures, I had to remove and redo the whole lipstick to make sure it's sharp for the images. And on the cover shots, you see no gloss whatsoever. But hey, we played around and it didn't really matter whether the lip will be glossy or not. The pictures turned out fantastic and Kat looked incredible in both versions. Now, guys, I've also powdered the face in 90s gloss. Glossy face was not in trend. Most of the foundations were matte then, and if any highlighter was used, then it also was super muted. So for this reason, I chose this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Highlighter, which is very muted in its reflection, and I added it on all the usual parts, including the ears. I do this quite often when I take images of my models, as I like when the skin is cohesive adhesive all throughout the look, including the body. I also added eye cheat from Charlotte Tilbury on the waterline. This trick not only enlarges the eye, but also cancels any redness on the waterline, and like this, the eyes look fresher. And to continue with our purple uh, monochromatic makeup, I chose this blusher from NARS in the shade Sin, which is one of my favorite dusky pink blushers, which is so complementary to fairer skin tones. And of course, not forgetting about the body. First, I've applied Nivea body cream mixed in with a little bit of the foundation all over the body and the neck area. And then I followed up with the Laura Mercier body highlighter in the shade Celestial Light, which is currently one of my favorite body highlighters for that super muted, expensive looking body glow. 
So this is pretty much it for our 90s inspired makeup tutorial. I am absolutely in love with how this look turned out and I think Kat pulls it off so well. She reminds me of a 90s supermodel for a cover shoot of Vogue or Elle or I don't know, any super luxe magazine. If you have enjoyed watching this beauty tutorial, please leave a comment underneath and don't forget to subscribe. All of this helps my channel to grow so I can create more beautiful videos for you. Also follow me on Instagram for more inspirational beauty content. I will add all of the links below so you can easily find them and stay connected. For now, thank you for tuning in and I see you on my next one.